All right, I got 15 minutes to make this tutorial. Let me make sure. Okay, audio is working. Let's get started. All right, what we're going to be making is this Some stars, orb, a little halo y thing, and then it'll eventually zoom in and kind of distort the background. Yay! All right, let's do that. So I dragged in some action essentials elements and just freeze framed a point in them point in time on them I liked um, this one let's see right there and right click on it go to time freeze frame and then extend the bat, uh, end of it all the way out to the comp so I will take up the whole comp I'm gonna set this here rotate it on angle and cut it off the screen a little and when we make this a sphere we're gonna have to so it wraps seamlessly we're gonna put this end of it that's cut off onto the side and we'll get to that but first let's add a linear wipe not a cc linear wipe just a linear wipe to this one and even though it's on an angle it's still on the bottom it thinks it's straight so let's cut off that feather it that one's a little nicer and let's change the color colorize and blue and just to make it pop a little more adjustment layer and curves make a nice S curve that looks nice and all right now let's make the water element wrap so first let's duplicate the footage command D or control D, whatever. We can hide the bottom one for now. And you could use the rectangle, well you can't, just because of the angle it is, it'll make a mask on an angle, so we're gonna use the pen tool. Click right about here, somewhat. And then shift click at the bottom, doesn't matter where, I'll make a straight line. Try to line it up with the end of the comp right here, but we can fix it later, so just keep shift clicking. And hit V click on a point and then just use the right arrow key on the keyboard and move it to the right and match it up with the comp. Keep moving over on the bottom end. You can show it off. We need to, looks like it's one pixel off. There and there. There you go, perfect. Now you're gonna hit M, click on the mask and Command C for copy and go on the bottom layer and Command V it. And you can show it now and then hit M on the bottom one and then make that subtract so it's just a different piece of it and we can move the top one if you click and then hold shift you can drag it and it'll keep it locked and then once you get close enough just use the arrow keys turn off the thing perfect and then you could uh, show the mask for it and then show it all and then on the bottom one you're gonna hit uh, mass subtract. You're just gonna push it over. Just using the right arrow keys. Turn this off, and now I'll wrap perfect. All right, and uh, when you're doing a sphere, you don't want it to things to be on the top or bottom, I and mean, you can you might be able to get right away with it, but. Eh, it could look a little choppy sometimes, so we're going to do a pen tool on the glass layer and just kind of get rid of some of this bottom stuff. Make it a little jaggedy. F feather and feather it a crap load. And there we go. Now we got something we can make into an orb. And just Command A. Control A, and then Command Shift C, make it a pre comp. And then we could, uh, we'll make the effect, but here's what it looks like. I have a few of these I've been playing around with. Orb 3, and it just makes a nice orb, and. Yep, that's what that looks like. Oh, I got all three of them moving. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Alright, well, let's make that. So type in CC sphere. 
There we go. And then to get the edges looking nice slightly. I don't know how you would say that. Reflect, refract, something like that. CC rail, scale wipe. I've been saying that way too much. And then just bring this up, reverse it to where you like. I think 48 works nice or something like that. Somewhere around there. And then you can just adjust the scale and that won't affect that parameter at all. That looks nice. Alright, and then we can go into the lighting. Increase that just a tad. Change the color to, I don't know, blue. Something. Don't got time to be picky. Just then change the orientation. Shading. What I mainly do in here is hit these two buttons. You can play with what they do or just read it and then you know and turn up the reflectivity and then lower the diffused. So gives a nice reflection in there and wraps it. So that looks nice. And now let's just make this a preset. We're gonna go into effect. Uh, expression controls, add a point control, effect, expression controls, add a slider, and you can make an angle control and then for the Y and other rotations, but let's do this for now. So point control, currently they're in the middle, so that's good for both of them, but if you move one, the other one doesn't move with it. So. We can fix that by all clicking on the center of one, dragging the pick whip to the control here, close that, and then I'll click on the offset of the sphere, pick whip, and go to the point. So now wherever you move this one, they'll both move. And you don't need to do one for the, you can do one for each individual radius so you don't have to dive into these, but pretty much if you just adjust this one, you're fine. So, so. Yeah, and the radial scale wipe, you don't really need to change that unless you think it looks better. What did I do wrong there? That's what I did. Okay. So that's the offsets to the there and we put this back to where we want it all right hope i didn't lose you i'm just rushing for time but yeah and then you can make one for the rotation like an angle slider up here and then you can just just it twirl it around but we'll just make a quick expression and go time times eh, 70. And if you want to make this a preset like i had the orb one just hit a uh, Command A on all these, or select them all, and then drag them into here, and then it'll ask you to name it, or you can click this button right here. Same thing. All right, but let's work on the little outline thingy in the background. So you're gonna make a layer. Let's first just add an adjustment layer, and let's add the solid. Doesn't matter what color. Just put it on the top, on uh, the bottom. Adjustment layer, we're just going to add a, another curve, so add some more contrast. Just something I like to do, helps it bring it out a little more. So on solid, we're going to add a fractal noise. And not to the adjustment layer, to the solid. Make sure you select your layer. Uh, bring up the contrast, lower the brightness a little, transform. Uncheck uniform scaling and make the width down a lot and then scale her up like that. And then add a hue and saturation to it to make it blue or whatever color you're feeling. I'm in a blue mood like I always am. And now to make it look like it's around it, go to the ellipse tool, click in the center and control shift, I think it is. Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Now, now it's not the time to be playing with that. I know one of them makes it start in the center. Ah, just hold control. Okay. V, click, and set it in the center. And then add another mask. In the center, control, click. Nope, control, click. 
There we go. V shift click also works too. Second layer. There. Subtract. Top layer, we're going to feather that. And we're also going to bring in the expansion because that's too far. Too much. And then the second one, we'll mess with the expansion feather too. Feather it. And just bring it to the wherever the edge looks like it's at. This isn't centered up perfectly, but you can, you guys can fiddle with it until you get to look right. And there's one more thing I added to it was uh, effect, blur, and sharpen, vector blur. And that took me some time to just mess with it. And uh, I guess I can do one more thing. And the evolution of the fractal noise, I'll click and then same expression, time times, you know, 40. And so now we got a spin thing with that on it. And to make the stars, I pre comped everything again. And then new layer, solid, okay. Fractal noise, down. Increase the contrast, lower the brightness, transform, scale, lower this a lot. Maybe that's too much, but I'm not going to be picky. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Let's see this adjustment layer, make it a little dark. Not, not. Just fine tuning this. Go back. Yeah, that looks like more what I had. And then it just spins around. And then at a point, I had it just made a scale keyframe. Went over a little bit. Zoomed in as much as I could. And then a little before it. Uh, shift T to add your opacity and then like right before it went brought it down to zero so it looked like it went in and then went past the camera and then somewhere in here as for the stars layer went in zoomed the stars up a lot and then before it faded out I uh, right clicked, transform, and then reset it back to its original position. So it'll go in, the stars will bulge up like it's being warped by it, like you're looking through the glass of the orb, and then when it comes back, it goes back, it resets back down. That might, that needs to be spread out a little bit. And they probably all need to be, just right click on them. Uh, can you do that from here? Keyframe assistance, easy ease. Or uh, F9. There we go. Yep. And that's basically how I made that. Uh, yeah, kind of rushed this tutorial just so I could fit the YouTube time limit for 15 minutes. If you got any questions, let me know down below. Just make a nice preset for it. Orb effect. Kind of a little different than Vio Cobilots nice either way um, yeah just you can apply that wrap thing to many things or if you want to use the top and bottom make it really good just do the same effect for uh, the, the water layer of this on the top and bottoms and you can have a whole orb that wraps perfectly and it'll look great so uh, if you make one let me know and I would love to see it so have fun and I will see you Whenever I feel like making another tutorial. Alright guys. Peace.